my Tauruses, and how are you doing? We're leaving your we're, we're leaving your sign, and we're going into Gemini. I hope you had a wonderful um, I hope you had a wonderful season. Now. We're going into Gemini. I'm, I'm putting this out in the 20th, so we're in Gemini. Let's put it that way. We do have that full moon coming out. I've done my overview. Um, have I done my welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie? I'm Debbie, and I'm reading from May 26th through June 1st. Anyway, we got all that done. Anyway, I've done my overview. Just pray. Um, I may not be able to do a video next week. I explain a little bit more about that in that video. Anyway, so watch it. But remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? I love talking to my Tauruses. That's, I got myself all up, all out of whack with that, but I love talking to you. Anyway, remember, um, again, general readings, may or may not resonate. Um, I'm feeling like you're getting a little stuck in the past. Not, not the, maybe long distance, I don't know. Um, kind of the Six of Cups, Six of Raphael, a little nostalgic from that past, but yet you have to move forward. You have to look at the bigger picture. Now, you can learn from the past. You can learn from that time, but I'm also getting the King of Fire, King of um, Gabriel, where it's like, you know, look, you have to look bigger. You have to look bigger and not get so caught up in what was done before, okay? Not sure why that had to be, but that has to be said. Okay, anyway. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else is there for your Tauruses? What else is there for your Tauruses? Here we go. Again, it's like, don't get too caught. You know, and I, I kind of feel like it's, oh, maybe it's somebody even saying, well, you know, that's not how we did it in the past. That's not how we used to do it. You know, that's not how we do it. Well, you know what? Things change. Things change. I don't feel like it's you per se, Tauruses. Maybe it's somebody's telling it to you. Um, you know, no, this is, and, and it's all, it, you can learn from the past. You can learn about how it was done. But, um, well, the other thing though, is many times, you know, there's been many jobs where somebody would say, okay, this is where I've been in. So we're going to be doing it this way. And you're like, okay, but you know, and you don't want to be a naysayer, but you're kind of like, we, you know, done that, did that, done that, didn't work. So not quite sure, but something being stuck in the past, but keep being brought up. You need to look at the big picture and you have to be very forward thinking. How's that? That's basically the whole thing, what I tried to say. Anyway, let's see what we have here. These two are reversed, so. Oh, and the Empress pops up for again. The Empress has been popping up. There's been like months where I did not even see the Empress and now the Empress is here. Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel is the divine messenger. So you could be getting a message about money coming in and again, I don't always get that with her and it's just the second time. So if you cross watch and you come across something with the Empress and I talk about money because there was one time I talked about money, then no money is coming in. Okay. Archangel Gabriel, the, uh, the divine messenger brings you messages, brings you, you know, uh, you know, I give you tidings of good. I give you good tidings, tiding of great joy. So we have three is celebration creation, the power of three. There is, there is this wanting to be blessed, wanting to give. Empress is very mother nature, mother earth energy, a little bit of Holy Spirit, but more tangible, more tangible with, um, with her giftings. There's a lot of karmic resolution with her, even though we're not in Mercury um, retro, which really amps up this message, but um, it is direct right now. We're out of the shadow, but we are about to change over. Mercury is in, is in, Taurus right now it does something with Uranus so I'm gonna say really expect the unexpected and you got to watch the begin that other one because I talk about that so time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded luxurious or abundant resources next card is reversed again the nine of Gabriel stand your ground stand your ground Taurus is whatever it is you know whatever that past thing is Stand your ground. Now, nine is, let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. Gabriel is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, full moon. What is it? The 23rd? You know, release, relinquish, request. Stand your ground. Don't give in. Okay. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. Hmm. Next card is the eight of Raphael, water energy. 
Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. Eight is unlimited opportunities. It's, it's kind of like the ants, you know, I'm just antsy. I need to move on. I need to get out of here. I have to move on. I have to go. There's more for me. There is more for me waiting for me. So again, it, it's kind of leaving that past behind and moving on. So there, and, you know, and the interesting thing is it's the unknown. It is going into the unknown, but yet, you know, and the, and leaving behind is the chest of gold, you know, there, it, you know, all this money, it, you know, and it's like, this isn't enough for me. This isn't enough. I need more. I need to move on. So there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. Remember, I felt like the, um, you know, the king of, of fire look at the big picture look at the big picture okay so let's see what else do we have here let's see what else we might have here higher power holy spirit what do we have for your tauruses i i like to hold them and say me too but your tauruses three of abundance three so we have that three again abundance is your energy it's also uh virgo it's also capricorn uh, the three of abundance. I love this. Your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. So there's a, this is a very, you know, this is like, just keep going. Do what you love. What is it that you love to do? Do you even know? You know, so many times in the world, we, we don't even know what we love anymore. We don't know because we've had, you know, well, I love to have a roof over my head. I love to have food in my, in my belly. I love to have my bills paid. But how we get that done, do we even know? That might be a good thing for my Tauruses. That might be a good thing for you to kind of maybe even figure out. You know, I've been kind of thinking about like, just even today, as I was getting ready, what is God's plan? What is, you know, God, what plan did you have for me? What plan do you have for Taurus? What plan do you have for any of us? And are we following your plan? I ask that I follow your plan. I ask that I do. Okay, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What is there with my inspirational wisdom? The fairy queen. I love fairies. When you start believing in yourself, you'll find the power and wisdom within you to bring about desired change. Oh, remember, don't give up. Well, the fairy queen saying you need to believe in yourself. And, you know, so many times, and maybe that's where that past, why I keep saying the past. So many times we look at our failures from the past and we don't realize that in so many ways, we were successes because we kept going, okay? We kept going and we learned from failures, but we didn't let them define us as a failure. We got up, maybe we had to change a job, maybe we had to go, but we kept going. So you're not, you know, so there is success there for you, my Tauruses. Anyway, I know. And again, I don't have to understand. I don't have to always put it in a neat little package. I just have to tell you what I'm feeling or what I'm getting and hopefully it's making sense to you higher power what crystal or energy would be good for your tauruses here we go orange calcite well here we go again boosting self-esteem expressing sexuality psychological healing energetic living yeah do you need a little bit of a boost in your self-esteem right now sometimes but remember, get up. Just keep getting up. It's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get up. So we're going to do my angel answers. Remember, this one's just for fun. And so get your question ready. But it's just for fun. No life decisions based on it. Though I have had people tell me, yeah, but it gave me an answer that I was asked. Or it gave me confirmation or it validated an answer for me. So let's see, higher power, what answer do you have for your lovely, lovely, lovely Tauruses? What do you have for your Tauruses? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Is that for someone else? Is that for yourself? 
I know that there's been some things that I've gone through and I'm like, wow, wow, I have to forgive. I have to forgive because if it had gone differently, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. Okay, my Tauruses, do me my favor now, please. This helps. It helps keep me coming back. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, whether you're watching me on Rumble or YouTube. Like I said, it helps keeping, it brings me, brings me back. And, you know, I, I really appreciate you doing that. As always, though, my Tauruses, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.